Hey, welcome to Eat Your Backyard, my YouTube channel where I tell you about all kinds of plants that produce cool things like beautiful looking leaves and delicious fruit. Those are the kind of things that I'm into. If you like that kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe to Eat Your Backyard. Let's get right to it. This is a happy time of the year, May, in Florida. And the reason is, it's mango time. <laughs> Look what I have growing in my yard. <laughs> Mangoes. I dreamed of this when I was younger, of having my own mango tree. And this is a Tommy Atkin mango, Tommy Atkins mango, which is a great mango. I've trimmed my Hayden mango tree significantly back this year, so this will be an off year for my Hayden mango tree, which is my favorite. I've got an Edward ma the mango tree that's growing in. I've got other videos on the channel about that kind of stuff if you're interested to check them out. But the thing about the Tommy Atkins mango, you can see this is a kind of an old dead flower stalk that can, that can come off. But the cool thing about the Tommy Atkins mango is that it produces what I would consider to simply be a picture-perfect mango. You polish these off and they're like, people think they're plastic fruit because they're so perfect. This one is about halfway done growing. And uh, if you really want to get them huge, you don't let the second mango grow off the side. You just pluck that off. But I can't bring myself to do it. Uh, you know, sometimes what will happen is the smaller mango or a couple smaller mangoes, like you can see this one, on a separate stem but when they grow on the same stem like this sometimes the smaller mango will just you know something happens doesn't get enough nutrients or whatever and it just falls off on the ground and the, the problem settles itself but uh, as is typical with mango trees you know if they're fertilized and this one's fertilized with the best rotten fish from our fishing trips when we were done filleting the fish we put the bones and everything the head of the fish right around the base of these mango trees and they just love it that's all I do for fertilizer I say it again and again it's all you need to do Although some might argue with me about that. Uh, these mangoes are going to be coming in probably in about two or three weeks. And when they do, well, we'll probably have piles of mangoes around. And what I do is I pick, I try to pick them, to start picking them before they get completely ripe and put them on the counter to counter ripen and they, in the sun or even out of the sun they'll ripen. To, just want to get a little soft and then eat them before they get ripe because once they do get ripe it's kind of hard to eat them all. Um, I think this year I might try to do some cooking with them as well, maybe even some freezing of them, but uh, you know, you want to have a strategy how you're going to eat your mangoes and of course give them away to your best friends because they're such a treasure. I know uh, my friends look forward to them. Now the Tommy Atkins mango is very mild flavored mango and it also doesn't have much fiber in it. You know, that's one thing that bothers people about eating mangoes sometimes is that when you bite down into it you get that stringy fiber in your teeth doesn't bother me but uh, it does bother some and this is a less fibrous variety but it's also not very tart so it's very sweet not very tart you know I kind of prefer a more tart mango like the Hayden for me that's a shelf top grade mango that you have to have in your collection even though it's a little bit more problematic but the, the thing with the Tommy Atkins is it's virtually pest resistant to the pests around here it never has a bug problem you can see these leaves they're perfect, in perfect shape, and it's never had anything done to it other than the fish. But uh, man, what a bonanza crop getting ready to come in. I would encourage you to go ahead and explore some mango trees uh, at your local nursery if you're in an area that can grow them, and that's going to be tropical areas for sure. These will not tolerate much cold weather at all. But the Tommy Atkins is clearly one of the best for producing picture-perfect, beautiful mangoes that don't require much much expertise to grow at all. Wow. Hey, I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to Eat Your Backyard. Thanks for watching.